To understand Gandhian socialism, this is a theory that comes across a lot and will come into future videos. It's what's best for the individual. While most ideologies say, yeah, we do what's best for the individual, some are a little bit different, like we do what's best for the kingly individual. Gandhian socialism wants what best is for the individual. So they're socialist because capitalism, they think, hurts the individual rather than helps them. Now, because Gandhi is the founder of Gandhi and socialism, everything needs to be achieved through nonviolence. So while some socialists will say, we need a revolution, Gandhi and socialism is like, no, nonviolence. The best individual in the eyes of Gandhi and socialism is to be a simple kind of man. To be a simple man. So they live off the land, they're peaceful, they don't attack anybody or have a fancy house and rich things. But there is a sort of civic nationalism to it, so the best individuals are a community that can come together as well. So they live in a simple community, but still a community that they're proud to be a part of. Cooperation is huge in Gandhian socialism for achieving it and for keeping it around. Because unlike other socialist ideologies like, oh, the state needs to be in power and then get taken out of power, Gandhian socialism says, why do you even need a state? Just achieve it and keep it that way. Now, Gandhian socialism is very environmental because you have to live off the land. That's what a simple man does. So they want to preserve the environment so it's for there for future generations and so they can live off of it. But this doesn't mean that they're all about preserving the land because they still need to farm and create farms for food. But it's more about conserving resources than just being like, oh, return to monkey, let the nature overwhelm us. There go, no, we need agriculture. Let's just not pollute the environment so much. So, of course, they're very anti-industrial because who wouldn't be if they were environmentalists? Industry pollutes the land, and so they want to keep it that way and just have a simple agrarian lifestyle. No fancy technology coming around here. And speaking of fancy technology, of course, they're anti-colonialism, as this is an Indian ideology and comes from Gandhi, who was all about trying to turn British Raj into India wanted the British out, so Gandhian socialists are naturally anti-colonialization. Ho ho ho, sorry guys, I'm rushing this video because I'm about to leave and I didn't know I was about to leave. So yeah, if you like this video, click the one on the left, click the one on the right. If you didn't, I don't care, I still get the view. Ha ha, you sucker, you fell for it, but if you're watching by the end of it, you're probably a fan, so thanks for watching. Love ya.